Oh, I can't wait to go out tonight. I want you to wear shoes. Where you guys oh, going? We're gonna have a great time, brother. Um, where you guys going tonight? We have a party at Guastavinos tonight. Yeah, you're gonna join us. You gotta join us. Come on, it's my first night in town. Uh, I'm really so tempted to. Tomorrow a... night, I'll go wherever you guys want to go, wherever. Come and say hello, and then you leave and say goodbye. Where's Guastavino? Guastavino's, uh, I believe, uh, I gotta check the palm, it's, it's, in, it's in there, but uh, free drinks tonight at Guastavino's. It's an industry party, all the film people are gonna be actually... involved in your involvement. Oh, right. thank you. Now that I have that on tape, I get to be like William Petrano and call you up all the time. Oh. First thing I want, Vic, is to find out what kind of deal we could do with Golden Gate. You know Where is mean? Golden Gate, by the way? You've seen it when you come to my house, so off the Bell Park. No, right? Oh, 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 sure, sure, sure. Right sure. on the block. Okay, yeah. They got a lounge. They got a beautiful lounge, gorgeous. And celebrities come in. Absolutely, you know, stop we have all by. kinds of celebrities oh. come in. You know that, that was that'd the, be the new, uh, new hot spot. It was, it was a hot spot. That that lounge in there was really hot at one time. I told you, let me talk, and I'll be able to get it for you. Get some almost. investors, absolutely. Yeah. Because I'll say, look, we're gonna make this into the hot spot of Brooklyn. Now, Solomon, Excuse I, me, miss. Uh, we do commercials between these segments. Do you think I could get a, a, a roll in of you? The name of the show is Morano Vision. You think I could get a, a, a sh something of you saying, Hi, this is Solomon King, the, the Golden Voice of star. Gospel, or whatever you want to say, and you are watching Morano Vision. Uh, can you also add in the Atlantic City Singing Star as well as the star of the upcoming movie Atlantic City Parachute? Uh, Morano Vision is the name of the show, so just go Atlantic ahead. Morano Vision? Morano Vision, yes. Oh. Hello, this is Solomon King. I'm glad to be here in New York City. At last, it's taken about 20 years, but I am back again, and I'm going to be on Morano Vision. So I hope you're going to stay with us, and we're going to have a good time. Shoot. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead. This is Solomon King. I'm very happy to be here shooting a beautiful new movie called Atlantic City Parachute, and I'm very happy to be on Morano Vision here with my good friend Frank Morano. And we hope that you're going to keep on watching. Every week we'll have something different for you. You know why? Because we want you to be entertained. The night before you leave. Hey, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so after Guastavino's, free drinks, uh, big party over there. We uh, actually have been invited to Veruca tonight by, uh, by Tim, the owner. He wants to meet you. Right. And uh, we have to put on a big show for this guy. Big, been a big fan. Big we fan will. We will. And we're also going to go to the Tribeca Grand. Are you doing any singing tonight, uh, Vic? Are you doing any singing tonight? Uh, we might Love be a lady tonight. Anything's possible. We might. Yeah. What do you think know. of Vic Christopher as a singer? Four years ago, when I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, I had the pleasure of hearing a lot of fine singers in karaoke, and along came a fellow who was a new breath of fresh air to me, because having been in the business for as many years as, <coughs> excuse me, that I've been in it, when I hear something different and unusual that brings happiness and joy to an audience, and all of a sudden a man ignites onto the stage and absolutely illuminates the whole place with a beautiful song, a rendition of Frank Sinatra's Luck Be a Lady Tonight, and I watched the way he moved, I watched the way the girls watched him, I watched the way I watched him, and everything like that. And I said to myself, there is a future star, a true future star of the world that will listen to this man sing. Then Vic got involved in directing, and I'm very happy he did because this now, man is going to be a great director someday. Are you afraid that maybe him going into directing is going to maybe make him uh, not pursue his musical talents as much? You know, I want Victor, he's my godson. I want Victor to be happy at what he's doing. I want him to be happy with the talent that the good Lord has given him. And I want him also to know that I like him because he's original, he's different. He's not like every Mamby Pamby that comes along. He's proved to an awful lot of people that you don't have to have millions and millions of dollars to be able to produce a movie with that, an outstanding uh, candor to it like he did with Night Crew. Have and you seen the Night Crew? Or Night I'm going to see it for the first time. I'm looking forward to it. You will enjoy it. it. You will enjoy I'm it. looking forward to it. I really am because, number one, I know the man's talents. Uh, would I, am I afraid of him singing and so forth and not being able to do? Vic knows what he wants to do. Vic knows what he wants to create in this world, the entertainment business. And as far as I'm concerned, being his godfather, 
I'm there for him anytime. And Vic and I will go back to Las Vegas in a few weeks from now, and I will hear him again on stage. Uh, I hope to put him on stage probably at uh, the Venetian Hotel, Shell Adelson's, where I stayed the last time I was there. And uh, as far as a director, uh, I don't think you can find any. I've told everybody in Oklahoma City about him. In fact, I feel so good about him that my partner and I want him to direct Transition, which is this Indian story that I told you about, and it's about a $5 million project. Well, I, I think that's fabulous. I, you know. I think well, if good. I didn't think he had it, Frank, I mean, I'm too old in this life to try to, sh as we say, schmaz someone, you know, and s tell them they've got something that they don't have. If I didn't think Victor didn't have it, I wouldn't lie to the boy. I'd say, don't give up your day job. But Victor does have it. Victor has everything to make him another new Steven Spielberg. If he uses his right uh, direction, shall we say, from people who really know what they're doing. When he comes to Oklahoma City, he'll meet Francis Ford Coppola, who's there now in Oklahoma City. He'll meet Greg Fredrickson, who did Godfather 1, 2, 3, and 4 with Coppola. He'll meet all the top directors. I'll see to that. And, and uh, I will introduce him to Steven Spielberg, who I've known for years when he first did Jaws. And, and now Steven has, of course, Amblin Entertainment. Now, I understand you knew the uh, new mayor of New York City, Michael Bloomberg. Is that true? He, can you tell me a little bit about how... I mean, we'll save a lot of this for the show well, tomorrow, but just very just, briefly. Let's just say that the Bloombergs came up to the Catskill Mountains. They heard me sing at some of the big hotels up there years ago. And I met Michael. And now I find out that a cousin of ours from one of our family, one of the wealthier parts of our family, has married into his family. Really? You know, big Jewish money marries big Jewish money. I mean, it happens, and you know, that's the way it is. We just got through closing down service merchandise, 2,200 stores throughout the United States. Very interesting. Now, Vic, uh, what are you looking to uh, accomplish? Uh, now, you have Solomon King here. He's only here for six days. Yeah. Now, uh, well, how are you going to utilize his talents during that time, both in the shooting of Atlantic City Parachute and any other endeavors you guys might be endeavoring? My number one um, concern right now is actually Atlantic City Parachute. I know we have this big premiere coming up Saturday, but it's kind of like an afterthought. You know, we, we, we did that December 6th. We had a great time with the night crew. Um, but my, my head is sort of really just on Atlantic City Parachute right now. I think that Solomon King will have an easy time with the performance. I don't expect doing many takes with this man because he's essentially playing himself. The character is named Solomon King. Uh, the character basically is Solomon King. I don't anticipate any difficulty shooting these scenes at all. Although we are shooting uh, six scenes in about as many days, um, you know, we've worked together before. You know, sure have. Oh. My... Is it Eddie Mack? No, it's not Eddie. No. Is it Eddie? No. Is it Eddie? No. Well, yeah, Eddie don't look that good. No, yeah. <laughs> no, believe me. Eddie's, Eddie's uh, been beaten down by this uh, Trey. Yeah, the Trey son fell on him, you know. Has he really? Oh yeah. What do you mean the new marriage isn't? Uh... No, the poor guy's digging bodies out of the Trey Center twelve hours a day, so he just he's gotta what? get to you. Oh, in the uh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, you yeah. know, he's been fucked up. Mm. A shame, man. So I, I think things will go very well. I'm looking forward to it. Really. It will be good. Tim, are you excited about Solomon King being in town? <laughs> I'm very excited. I feel like I'm alive again. I feel like I've been dead for two years. Now, Solomon, have, have you ever met Frank Sinatra? Pardon me? Have you ever met Frank Sinatra? Yes, I have. And what, what was your relationship like with Frank Sinatra? Or was there well, a relationship? I met Frank in California the first time. I met Frank in, uh, at the Sands Hotel the second time. My opinion of Frank Sinatra was he was his own man. He never let anything get by him. He could always double thank you. And Frank had so much to add to everybody's life that, he, that was around him. Nick Savano was his first manager, was a very good friend of mine. And then Frank had the Weiss organization down in Florida. They were handing him him on the latter part of his days with Frank Sinatra Jr. Um, 
I, I believe that. Uh, Where are you going? Oh, sorry. That Frank Sinatra brought something to the world with beauty and style that really engrossed everybody in, in like a magnetic, a magnet pulling to you. And, uh, you know, everywhere he went, he packed houses and, and he, he was a nice guy. He was a very charitable person. Uh, I knew Nancy. I knew all the family. Now, have you ever met William Shatner? Yes, I have. And what, William Shatner from Canada. He's from Montreal. And uh, I met him just once, casually, at a party. And uh, I really couldn't tell you one way or the other. Where did but you I meet him? In Las Vegas? I was a Trekkie. Mm -hmm. No, I met him in Canada. And, oh, you were in Canada. Mm -hmm. and you met I was him. married to a Canadian girl. That's the mother of my children. Oh. And my brother-in-law today is your chancellor president of Concordia University, the French University in Montreal. Wow. Now, uh, was William Shatner familiar with, with your work? No. <laughs> he he remembered she wears my ring because remember it was like number one in Canada for you. Oh, okay. So he was familiar with. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'd say so, but I didn't know him on a perfectly name basis the way you and I have been introduced. You know, no, I didn't. Didn't. Uh -uh. Okay. Now I did meet Spock. Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. Fine fellow. Nice guy. Nice guy. To me, between you and I, he was the star of the show. Really? Yeah. Here's Eddie. Uh, Eddie McNamara's here. What are your thoughts on Eddie McNamara arriving for lunch? Where's Eddie McNamara? He's outside right there. Where's the David Hasselhoff? There he is. That little wave he gave us. He's messing up a little bit. Eddie McNamara. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? You look good. You look good. You look good. You look good. Oh, oh uh, Eddie. Thanks. This was designed by one of the top designers uh, in the world for me years and years ago. It's the beach suit, huh? <laughs> it's a Leo. You know I'm a Leo. Friday the 13th. Really? And here, yeah. the feel what it's made out of. There's nothing like it in the world. Oh, sure. In fact, people want me to bring it out here in New York. We'll sell it by the thousands. How much does this one run? If if it is an original, it's worth about twenty-five thousand. It's the most expensive jumpsuit that there is <laughs> because the guy who designed it with Versace died of AIDS. I feel, I'm feeling it's like a it's like oh, a painting That's type great. of thing. You know it's what I mean? Oh. I just got surgery. I'm all on medication right That's now. The, the, the and if we were to come out with this, Vic, we were to come out with this, we could be in every store That's right, of right. ours, a federated department store, which we have 11,000 stores. I don't know what to begin with, but it's nice. No, it broke. I mean, it was all fucked up. Go ahead. <clears throat> have you ever heard the story of how Ireland got its name? No, not only that. I'll tell you so you'll understand from whence old Ireland came. No wonder that we're proud of that dear land across the sea. For here's the way we dear old mother told the tale to me. Sure, a little bit of heaven fell from out the sky one day, and it nestled in the ocean in a spot so far away. And when the angels found it, hey, sure it looks so sweet and fair. They said, suppose we leave it, for it looks so peaceful there. So they sprinkled it with star of joy. What's good, huh? What's that? Like butter. To make the shamrocks grow. She's the only place you find <laughs> them, no matter where you go. So they dotted it with silver to make the lake so grand. And when they had it finished, sure they could.
that's tremendous. <laughs> I promise you, oh, when we talked on when we talked on the this for Joe, man. when we talked on the uh, phone, I told you I was gonna do that for yeah. you when I came well, to New York. So hey, I kept my promise. The party for Joe Franklin. Best stuff. This, this is, is Frank Ryan show, right? Yes. What what this like? thing sold about a half a million for me. That's great. Guastavinos, if you want, we'll be this. Big gospel album for me. The movie, give me a party over there. This is a song where he leads me. You know what? Thank you so much. I have got to get one of these. I am so ashamed being the artist, and I don't even well, have it's one. Yours. Really? Yeah. Well, where's yours? Oh, I've got another one. He's the come by. So, huh? You remember giving that autograph? I mean, I'm sure. Was it too? To people in New Zealand. It is. No, that people in New Zealand. It's absolutely right. That's wow. Right. It's absolutely right. It is. Yeah. I got that from New Zealand. New Zealand. It's absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So which... So you got two of these in? How'd you get two of them? Oh, uh, one's the best other one. I never walk along. Same cover. Oh, I use the same cover. I guess I like to picture someone who's twice. You sure I can have this in? Mm -hmm. No question. Oh, bless you. All no right. question. Oh, I've got a CD for you too, my lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, we got one in the pop way. Yeah, I got one for you too, Frank. Oh, one for Thank you, Tom. I look forward to it. Um, so, um, you know, I, I, Vic talked to me for hours and hours and hours about the script. I love the idea. Excellent. Fantastic. I think y'all did a superb job. And, you know, I told Vic, look, I'm an actor. You know, for me to go word to word to word to word to word to word to word. That, word, 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 that isn't the way no. you do it. No, we don't want that. You know what I told people in the Apostle Paul? I'm going to tell... Clooney, and I don't care who it is, I don't care how big they think they are, they're either going to do things my way or I'm not going to do them at all. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't want it to be a mishmash. I don't want it to come out. The Apostle Paul is the most talked about person next to Jesus Christ in the Bible. And he was the most loved. And he and I had a similar experience when I became a Messianic Jew. Now, Vic. Vic, how is Marty Vaz going to emulate anything like It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. Another, they're another, acting. Another mission of uh, ours is to uh, attempt to educate the guy who's playing the young Solomon King in the film on, on what it takes to act like you. Please get that on there. I can't. I can't do it. That's true. Solomon. Yes, sir. Got the cheese hanging. We don't want to. Oh, okay. What's the next stop? It's good. It's off now. Yeah, okay, you got it. Can we get some more rolls, please? Sure. If you please. Thank you. Thank you. How about you have any focaccia? Focaccia bread? Oh, I love focaccia bread. You have any focaccia? Focaccia bread? And have you no. got something we can dip the bread in? Uh, you know, like a sauce, a uh, black sauce. What do you oh, balsamic vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll take some balsamic vinegar on this side. You went, you're done right now. Six says, don't worry about it. You can piece that together. Uh, so how you doing? Good, yeah. very good. Oh, Actually, now I'm not offended. I, like I, I, I know you're, you're tired after you're offended. I know that, but I want to let you know that. And, and, and you call them shorty because they're shorter than you, right? You know, you know. Yeah, one of them went ahead and he said to me, Dad, hit me as hard as you can in the stump. King, don't stop it. What? What do you think you're hooking? Oh, our digital price. And it's 30 francs a second, but we should just move down. Monitor. Yeah, we're uh, have we got a drug store and around this here? This little... Good, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Maybe. the camera shuts on and off. Um, it's kind of there. <laughs> but it's just, you know what I mean? It's a custom treat set I just need to do some... Uh, I, I reduced the shot. Yeah, you turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. See, it's 30 frames per second. It's more of like a... Call called the Democratic Party and find out where he is. Well, he's in Harlem now. His Harlem office. We, we can get the number for his Harlem office. Yeah, I helped he and, and Hillary in, in Florida get elected. I got him the Jewish vote. We used and to Albert Gore Jr. is one of my friends. His father and I used to run around together, Albert Gore Sr., Senator, Senator Gore. Were you, were you a supporter of the uh, Clintons? Huh? Were you a supporter of the Clintons? Very much so. You consider you're a Democrat? You bet your life I'm a Democrat. Mm -hmm. From the Central Party. And I'm going to tell you something. I mean, I'm going to meet you. Everybody says to me, is Bush doing a wonderful job? Bush is doing an all right job. He's not doing a brilliant job. Because there's a lot of people from Oklahoma who haven't even gotten paid for our deal that we had. Which deal is that? McVeigh. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, now, 
And you know, a lot of people say to me, say, are, what do you think about September the 11th? Well, what do you mean, what is there to think about September the 11th? It was a terrible tragedy. But so it was also the Second World War with nine million of my people going to the gas chamber didn't even have a chance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Herded like cattle. Now, do you, you vote regularly? Mr. I King? sure do. And what do you think of people who don't vote? Well, I think people who don't vote are stupid. Mm, I agree. They have no right to be critical of the government because they don't care. They don't mm. care about our country. They don't care about anything that's in our country. And a lot of people say to me, well, what do you think about September the 11th, mm -hmm. Mr. King? And I, I did this on, on CBS radio in, in Oklahoma City, and I came out and I said a statement, I don't care whether everybody likes it or not. I am glad to see that something like September the 11th had, because everybody had thrown God out of the schools, God out of the churches, God out of their life, and the flag didn't mean anything anymore. They were mm -hmm. burning the flag, they were wearing the flag, they were doing everything. It didn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. To me today, we're more united today under our flag, under our God, than anyone else in the United in, in the whole wide world. Amen. So, uh, <clears throat> Mr. King, when, when now you say you were um, you were taken aback by how there's no God in school and and how God is almost a taboo subject. But is it true you find that a lot of Democrats? Are the cause of that by by taking free separation by freedom of religion and uh, taking that to mean freedom from religion? Don't you think Democrats are sort of let the me cause? explain something to you, Frank? If I can put it into very precise terms, right? Number one, first of all, the Democrats are not to blame mm -hmm. for all of this sort of thing yeah. that's going on. In both parties, you've always got people, people who want to alienate themselves and stand out alone, you understand, mm -hmm. and an individuality. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the Muslims. It's the same thing with the Muslims. What do you think of the Muslims? We have no right. I, I had one drive me home last night, one of the nicest guys called Amir from Pakistan. He was the nicest guy. We talked and the whole thing, and I wish... He would be hearing this now. I'd love to. Have, I told him to come down because he's really such a nice guy. Let me explain something to you. We made the mistake at Pearl Harbor, the same thing we did with the Japanese intern camp. There are a lot of Japanese Americans that paid a price that didn't have to pay that price. Okay, but because of of the way we were thinking, okay, everybody was our enemy. I mean, the first thing that happened after the McVeigh deal in Oklahoma City, who do you think were the first people we, we, uh, we prosecuted? Arabs. Arabs. Arabs did it. Muslims did it. You know? Nobody can ever think that McVeigh no, or this, Nichols or any of those power. guys ever did. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel about the death penalty since we're on the topic of Timothy McVeigh? I feel like that an eye for an eye, brother. Mm -hmm. See that wide angle left? Now, I know that in religion it says Jesus says you're supposed to turn the other cheek. That's the only thing I don't yeah, agree in. Mm -hmm. I believe if you take a life of somebody, you need to give your life for that human being. Yeah. Now, King, if you had to pick one philosopher or one political thinker that you most identified with, uh, in terms of your philosophy and ideals, what? who would it be? I like that. I, like I would that think we could do, we could, um, Winston Churchill. Winston, Winston Churchill? Yeah. It is a great picture. Yeah, yeah. This often in Mexico or Louis before the House of Commons. And I wish it Churchill. Yeah, like do you do any other impressions, King? About a hundred. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, let's hear some. Good. Tom Jones. Oh. Let's hear it. Hey! Tom. How about Wayne Newton? Can you do Wayne Newton? I do, uh, who's this? You tell me who this is. Everybody needs somebody. Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Thank you. Hello. Tim, can I just how about, how about, uh, how about some Frank Sinatra, King? Uh, I'm not the Sinatra man. I have a young man by the name of Vic Christopher who is. <laughs> and I don't step on turf that I don't cover. <laughs> and I don't cover Frank Sinatra. But Vic Christopher... <laughs> Has his own style, but sometimes he sounds a little bit like. Frank now he's Sinatra. your godson, right? He's my godson. Mm -hmm. You have any other godchildren? 
No, sir. No? no one anymore. What, what happened? I got, like, got three moved. beautiful boys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought anyone was his glasses. Exactly. Like, exactly. I don't know what the beautiful script. It wasn't elevated to God's I thought he was elevated to God's You can go with a manual exposure. I guess I got the boot, huh? Yeah, you're out. No. no. Manual exposure. You're not my godson. Right. Oh. You're my brother. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. story. I've only got one godson. And he's young because he's my godson. He's my godson. He <laughs> show <laughs> is. <laughs> Does, does you know the difference between a northern girl and a southern girl? A northern girl says you can, but a southern girl says you all can. Uh. <laughs> I, that went over my head, Kate. Yeah, oh, get come it. on. <laughs> Tell me, explain it to me, please. As, okay, I'm going to try and throw some soft light out. Um, Where's King Henry? Right. I'm going to throw some soft to light out. Maybe a little, you know. How's that? Well, how's it look? King, tell me about tell me about transition. Transition is a story about you like this, Brian? A love affair like between like an Indian I want it bright. It's and be a this beautiful young lady. You know what I'm saying? They have it. They have a. They go back in the time. There's a medicine man involved. That's his grandfather. Mm -hmm. And it's a tremendous script. But the Apostle Paul is the one that I'm really on to. And when are you looking to start production on the Apostle Paul? As soon as I got $60 million in my pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which you estimate will be when? Which will work. Well, if I stay in Oklahoma, I would have raised it between Texas and Oklahoma. There are a lot of people there for it. Mm -hmm. But I think we'll be able to raise it here in New York as well. Probably with the Holy Seed, where I, where I sang years ago with Cardinal Spelman here, and I sang at St. Patrick's Cathedral. If you decide to move to New York, would you be willing to give any thought to running for office, uh, King? Or would I what? Be willing to give any thought to running for elective office? Yes, I would. You would be able to give some thought. Yes, I would. Because I, I know a lot of... They wanted, me to run, they wanted me to run for Congress in the state of Kentucky, and my brother did it instead of me. But, um, I don't want you to How'd he do? He lost. He lost? Yeah, he yeah, lost to a guy called Truth. Morton. How's that look? Mm -hmm. How's that look? Morton's frozen no foods. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, because uh, I know a lot of people in politics, King, we may be able, you know, I'd love to, you know, introduce you to some of them if you stick around. I'd love to meet I really would right. because right. I, well, I have a certain philosophy that I think the way, you see, I'm for the inner city, yes, but I'm also for what not guys taking so much of our money and throwing it overseas. But we got a lot of starving people right here in the United States of America, and I'm not for taking all of our money and putting it overseas. Mm -hmm. now, I say, yeah, but look, they don't have a chance. They don't have any clothes. They don't have any food. Well, I got news for you. There are a lot of people here in our country don't have any clothes, don't have any food, and they're living in sewers and in boxes and everything else. And for a nation that has the four freedoms like we have, that should not be. That's great. Now, uh, King, tell me, um, th is it true that, that there are a lot of gay people in show business? There are a lot of gay people in show business? Yes, there are a lot of gay people in show business. And i got news for you. They're very creative people. Very creative people. Now, um, what did you think of the night crew? Give me your whole evaluation of the night crew. What you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and what needs to be improved upon for Atlantic City. I thought, I thought, for... Vic's second attempt, I thought it was from a 1 to 10, a good 9. A good 9. A good 9. Night Crew will be a B-class picture where Atlantic City Parachute will be a A-class picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you think that uh, do you, you think that Atlantic City Parachute yeah, what do you think of this? How do you think that movie is going to do, Atlantic City Parachute? How do I think what? Atlantic City Parachute will do, both financially and critically. I think it's going to be a, a, a showstopper. I think it's going to be the, the uh, film of the year. Mm -hmm. And when are you going to make a decision about whether or not you're going to stay in New York? You can't compromise that shot, though. Within the next 24 hours, we have to. I have to sit down with you. I have to sit down with a few people. I want to sit down with uh, uh, Timmy from Barucas. I want to sit down with a, a bunch of people I've met. Uh, you know, I mean, this is this is a very precarious time in my life, and I, I uh, you know, I have to make up my mind: is it going to be here? Is it going to be Las Vegas? I don't want it to be Las Vegas because I get tired of Las Vegas. First of all, I have a gambling habit, mm -hmm. and it costs me already over the table. I'll guarantee in Las Vegas a good 
hundredth hour or better over the years. As Ricky said, he and, uh, Vic Christopher shoot with an arrow. And this well, is yeah, Vic uh, Christopher's yeah. town. Some and Vic, may not even Vic know. is That's my, true. You're right. they know my, uh, right. my godson. Mm -hmm. And I'm behind everything that he does 100%. Uh, now, what do you think of the acting in the night crew? I thought some of the acting was absolutely superb. Light if you're Who in particular? Well, I don't know. I, I don't mm. do that. I mm. will not. I'll just say that there were some parts of Night Crew that Thank were you, a little Vic. bit stronger than others, mm -hmm. and there were more more uh, informative type of uh, of uh, aggression to attack. Some people did it beautifully. Some people didn't quite come through. Mm -hmm. Now I know I talk to a lot of actors. Some people said think acting is an art form, whereas others seem to think of acting more as a science. Where do you stand and why? It's an art form. Art form? Definitely an art form. Now, so you think it's so you think it's a little bit more subjective to the individual. Well, here's a man here that's a pilot mm -hmm. from Continental Airlines. My friend Brian from Texas. Uh, here's a man that when we're flying in a ship, we're flying in an airplane, our life is in his hands. Mm -hmm. Now that is a artistic talent that this man has of the knowledge of everything that has to do with the mechanics of the plane, plus how to, to uh, maneuver the plane, and so forth and so on. That is an artistic talent. That is not a technical talent, that's an artistic talent. Because you'll also know that a captain of a ship, that is his baby. Just like the captain of, 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 of a, a, any kind of ship. I got bowls. And everybody falls underneath the captain. Big bottles of ice From all the, all the stewards and everything, and the, the food and everything. And, all underneath the captain, mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. and that's why it's so very, very important today. Like this thing that happened the other day. What do you think about what happened the other day on the plane? There, here, this guy got ahead and got into the uh, the cockpit and the whole thing on the way to Buenos Aires. Yeah, that's he, got dangerous. he got a crack a across the yeah. head. Uh, well, they hit him with a Ricky. How you doing, Rick? Hey, Rick, Rick we're right on here. Here. What? Uh, yes. Yeah. What do you need? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. We got a hanger. Is there anyone who's there anyone who's available? Right we take, huh? You need all hands on deck? No, no. We do. Uh, why don't you take like Clinton or something? Yeah, Clinton, come with me. Just so you guys have to wait. Who's got? Who we'll take Eddie. We'll take Eddie. You want to go? Where take Clinton? Vic, do you want this taken down or try? You know, Frank, I, I look at politics. Probably different than most people because I have had the pleasure of singing in the White House many times and in many of the prayer breakfasts and I helped elect a lot of candidates that are in, in today. Mm -hmm. Joe Frank Harris was the governor of Georgia. Wendell Ford was the governor of Kentucky. I worked on Senator Dole's campaign. I worked with Ron Reagan. I worked with John F. Kennedy. I worked mm -hmm. with uh, with Johnson. I worked with uh, Carter's outfit. Okay. And okay, now I've just worked. I, I worked with uh, George Bush, the father, uh, years ago, and uh, now I'm working with. I'll work with the son. How do I compare the son to the father? I think the father did things the way he thought they should be done, and I think the son is doing the things the way that he thinks they should be done. I don't think you should match the two together because they were both two different kinds of personalities. They're both two kinds of human beings who looked at life a little bit different than other people. So what do you think? And, yeah, so who was the, in your opinion, the most effective or the greatest president in your lifetime? I would have to say John F. Kennedy. John Kennedy? Yeah. Why? Well, John had a spark to him. Where Franklin Delano Roosevelt did not have a spark to him, I don't think. I mean, I found him a bit dull, you know. He would say, I'd like to help you, Winnie, but to see fella, my dog, and Eleanor, my wife. See, he was from Hyde Park, New York, which is a whole different echelon of people than the Kennedys that came from, um, uh, what do you call it, from Hyannisport and the Massachusetts crowd. Now, I went to school at the University of Miami, Florida with the richest rich of the rich, the Walter Chrysler's, the, what did you study the Firestones, in University of Miami, drama and music. Okay. And, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. You were saying uh, that Kennedy, Kennedy had a spark to him, whereas Roosevelt did not. Kennedy had a tremendous spark to him, where I, I think a lot of the other presidents didn't have a spark to him. 
I think the closest thing that's come to John F. Kennedy, as far as I'm concerned, who's really shown that he, you know that he's a hands-on man when it comes to to administration, was was a man that was so dull at the very beginning I couldn't stand to even listen to him talk, and that was Jimmy Carter from Georgia, the Peanut Farm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what do you think? Well, look of what he did. Look what he did for yeah. mankind, mm -hmm. building those homes and all for the poor. Mm -hmm. I mean, other presidents could have done it, and they didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do you think of Reagan's tax cuts in the 80s? Well, I knew Ron Reagan. I've known Ron Reagan for years when he was in the movies in Hollywood. We were both trying to get started and everything and so forth and so on. We both started out about the same time in Hollywood, I guess. Ron, Ron, uh, Ron knew that what he wanted to be. He knew he wanted to be a movie star. He knew he wanted to be the center of attraction, which he is. And I guess a lot of people think that I am, too. Um, I guess that's part of our personality. I don't know. I feel sorry for Ronnie today because he doesn't know his wife. He doesn't know anybody. He's got Alzheimer's very, very bad. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, one of those things that... Uh, I, I would interview King every day of my life if I could. Oh, yeah. The addendum to the King of Vegas. Yeah. He's dedicated over in Jersey. King, how about sports? Are you a sports fan at all? Very much so. I used to be the singer of the Gillette Cavalcade of Sports years ago, and I started out being from Lexington, Kentucky. It was the home of the University of Wildcats mm -hmm. uh, under Adolph Rupp. And I uh, started out knowing out off front, but I never played basketball there at University of Kentucky. What's your favorite sport as a spectator? Football. football? Professional football. Two of you working together with And second is baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Then basketball. Mm -hmm. Hockey, I'm not really into. Even though I was with Wayne, you know, and I met all the guys. Yeah, I'm not really into hockey myself. You don't get that in, I don't have the key. You can say anything you want. Yeah. You had a rough time. Hey, let me tell you what tough is. Now I go into a big spiel. Which I'm gonna probably change as I go along, but that's all right. I just I got two concepts to this year. We'll try it one way, then we'll try it another. They're gonna make me do it over four or five times anyway. So what's the difference? Hey Sal. I don't know, but I think I like that there. Let me see. Put my jacket on. I like that. I like that. Hey, don't you excited about the shoot? Oh, so if we get through the opening, you nervous? I don't know who my partner is. Where the fuck is he? Where are we in? So I like to know. And then at the very end, the fucking kid is useless. It's worth. He's, he, he, he sleeps all the time. I don't know what he's doing anymore. You know what I mean? He's never around for me anymore. You think he has any potential at all? Potential? Yeah. Be a fuck up, yeah. Be a major fuck up. That's why I This fucking thing is real, man. Hey! How you doing, buddy? Is that meant for me? Yeah. You don't want to know. Frank, how you better, right? I'm doing all right. How you doing with that? Uh, those guys that had the problem with you. I took care of them. Took care of it, huh? Took care. Of them. I don't want to talk about that right now. All right, got it. I'd rather not. I gotta put my jacket on. Okay. It's great to see you. This is my buddy Brian. Yeah, if you don't, you don't want to put him like that kind of whiskey, forget about the meal sauce. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we can't do it. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even remember. What do you guys do? Rice patties? No, they won't even get rice. Oh, shit. You can't have rice with rice. Oh, there you go. Forget about the meal sauce. You're gonna, we're just doing the one song, and then we're going to do maybe a little dance. No, I almost put the... What? I almost put the... You know, Mitch, we're partners in this and nobody knows us till the end, you know. Yo, take it easy now, okay? I'm gonna trust you like a brother. If you say it's good, it's good. But I gotta take care of this fucking fuck bag, you understand? He's in the zone right now. I gotta take care of this fuck bag. He's born in the zone. Trish, forget about the Beatles song. It's an infringement of uh, all the bullshit that goes down in this. Michael Jackson owns it all, doesn't he? And hey, what do you think of all the acting talent that you're in the room with right now? I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. Doesn't she look dressed like she's going to be in it? I thought she was the hostess. Was she going to be an extra? I'm, I'm behind the scenes. If you need me as an extra, I'll, uh, I'll step Vic, in. Vic will definitely put you in.
Don't worry about it. Oh, look at the dolly right there. Does she look beautiful? She's gorgeous. Oh, look, 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 look at the dolly. Dolly, can I ask you something, dolly? Excuse me, uh, I'll record this. No. Dolly, you've been announcing how many years now? Uh, uh, five, 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 five years. That's not what I heard. Excuse me. Just say it's a five years. When the first time I've seen the two shots, I've got the two shots. You're the two shots. I'm going to the very no, you know, you know, you're supposed to inject the thought. Did you tell me to inject the thought about just like? Hey, you know, I'm trying to hang in here. I'm trying to help out as much as I can. I'm uh, very happy to see you here today. I got it. And uh, I hope. Oh, 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 we're gonna pull the switch. Okay. Can you give me a minute? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh uh, yeah. So um, Brian's like a big fucking bitch. And I'm really looking forward to this new project that we're into, uh, uh, Atlantic City Parachute. It's going to be a magnificent job uh, we're going to make, uh, have, rather. It'll work out well. We're going to work much harder, longer hours, and I'm sure that it's going to be a big hit. Believe me, I hope that people will come and see it and enjoy it. So far, so good with the, with the first part. You can't do that. As you know, we had our first first last night, and uh, everything went over big. We've gotten calls about it. We're uh, nominated for maybe the best independent director, Mr. Vic Christopher. And uh, hopefully, uh, 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 thank you very much, Eddie. Uh, 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 let's just uh, very switch uh, uh, Let's start right up at the top. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, and, and with all you got to do to feed me is I want you to feed me the Ryan, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 That's important. Because you can say anything you want. Wait, once you say that, then I want